on or about April 28th, 2016, I filed three charges against the NALC and the United States Postal Service at the National Labor Relations Board office. The two charges against the NALC were dismissed. The charge against the United States Postal Service sat at the office of the NALC for over a year. During that time, I called several times to get an explanation as to where the charge is. And I felt that I'd just been getting the runaround. On or about April 3rd, I attempted to call Senator office in an attempt to try to get help because I was informed that the Senator's uh, is the office that regulates the Labor Relations Board. I contacted them again on May 18th. Thank you for calling the Las Vegas office of Senator uh, This is uh, my second attempt to call and again on June 19th. Thank you for calling Senator office. How can I help you? Yes, how you doing? My name is uh, This is the third time I'm calling. I'm trying to reach someone from this office because I need to speak to them about is our liaison who works for the Department of Labor. He is currently uh, out of the office. Would you like to leave him a voicemail? Yes, please. Thank you very much. I, I attempted again to contact them on May 23rd, 2017. Senator this office. How can I help you? Yes, can I speak to... Okay, may I have your name, please? Yes. One moment. Hi, you've reached... Please leave me a message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Hello, this is again. My phone number is then I tried again on May 25th, 2017, and I was successful. Office, how can I help you? Yes, can I speak to uh. Okay, may I have your name, please? Yes. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, one moment, please. We need to, to, we need you to fill out a Privacy Act release form. Okay. So after I get off the phone with the Senator's office on May 25th, 2017, on June 1st, 2017, I receive a voicemail. Hi, Richard, it's the NLRB. Um, I just got back from vacation today, but I wanted to make sure you were aware that we issued complaint in your case on your discharge. Uh, we issued complaint on the 26th, and uh, a copy was sent to you by mail. Uh, hearing is scheduled for... Well, currently scheduled for... Um, uh, if you have any questions, please, please feel free to call me. or you can send me an email. But I just wanted to make sure you were aware we issued complaint on your discharge and some of the unlawful rules, uh, that alleging that you were discharged for the unlawful rules, certain unlawful rules, okay? Thanks, Richard, bye-bye. The funny thing about this case is that it started on or about April 28th, 2016. The rep just sitting on this case. As soon as I make a contact with Senator office. I then receive a call stating that my case is finally being looked at. I feel this is too much of a coincidence, too much of a coincidence for me. I'm currently working on a film entitled When Bullies Become Bosses. You see the trailer at thebullyexposed.com. Share this video with all your friends. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Help us make a difference. We're trying to change the laws so this kind of stuff does not occur. It's my opinion that the National Labor Relations Board is trying to protect the USPS 
by not filing this case. And I believe that they, if I had never went to Senator office, that this case would not, would, would just be collecting dust.